Richmond County, along with the City of Hamlet, Rockingham, and the Richmond County Sheriff's will begin the process of consolidating dispatching services in the county. If a person dials 911, the call will go to the Richmond County Emergency Services Facility. If the emergency requires a response from fire or are in need of an ambulance, the call will be processed and dispatched by the 911 center. If the emergency requires a law enforcement officer, the 911 center will validate the location where the incident occurred and the person will be transferred to the appropriate law enforcement agency's dispatch center. Beginning on the morning of January 27th, the process to merge all four dispatch centers into a single dispatch point will begin. Richmond County Emergency Services will begin this process by consolidating the dispatch services to the Richmond County 911 Center. Thursday morning couldn't seem to get here fast enough for many faithful diners of the Holiday Restaurant. The popular restaurant was undergoing some major renovations after the recent sale from former owners Kevin and Wanda Perry to new owners Jeremy and Lindsay Gibson. The Holiday Restaurant still has the same floor plan, but the walls have been repainted and new ceiling fans were placed in the large dining room to see the, give the restaurant a fresher feel. Jeremy and Lindsay walked around, speaking with folks as they ate their breakfast and introducing themselves to newcomers. Jeremy Gibson was a general manager at Fats Kitchen and worked out his notice there after finalizing the purchase of the Holiday. The restaurant hours is from 5.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sunday through Wednesday and from 5.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Thursday through Saturday. The restaurant will be utilizing social media to keep its followers updated. The Magic of Motown is coming Tuesday, January 22nd to the Call Auditorium located on the main campus of Richmond Community College. In the 1960s, some of the most iconic names in musical history were discovered in the Motor City of Detroit, which bought a craze that spread worldwide and transferred into 1970s soul music. Celebrating the artists and the music they created, the Magic of Motown is a tribute to the culture-defining songs of pop music history. The show features 40 back-to-back -back classic Motown hits, glittering costume changes, dazzling dance moves, and outstanding musicianship in this explosive concert experience. Cole Auditorium director Joey Bennett said patrons who have viewed the online video have commented not only about how much the show's performers sound like the original singers, but also how the music takes them back to days gone by. A preview of this video can be viewed online at www.richmondcc.edu or on the Cole's social media outlets. The show began at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, January 22nd. DeWitt Performing Art Series season ticket holders can use their tickets for entry, but single tickets are available for $30 to $50 each. Call 910-410-1691 for ticket details or visit the Cole Auditorium box office located at 1042 West Hamlet Avenue in Hamlet. When we return, I'll be bringing your live five weather report. How low will the temperatures dip this weekend? Find out right after the break. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. I'm Joey Bennett, Director of Call Auditorium, and this is Emily Tucker from the Richmond County Chamber of Commerce, and we're here in the Call Auditorium. We've got a whole new series of shows we're announcing for 2019, and we're very excited about who we're bringing to Richmond County. So, Joey, what do I have to look forward to? We have three fabulous shows that we're so excited about that are going to be right here at Call Auditorium. Scotty McCreary, Craig Morgan, and Hotel California. And where do I go to find these tickets? You call us here at the box office, 910-410-1691, or come by and see us. Today's live five weather report is brought to you by Simply Chic Monogram Boutique and as you can tell from our office camera it's been a kind of cloudy day but so far no rain and of course going into the weather map for tomorrow with the temperatures for that day with Fayetteville at high 64 and a low 57 and a quick reminder that it will be raining tomorrow so the sun won't last but for a little bit longer and then Lumberton of course has a high 67 and a low 59. 
going into areas like Rayford with a high of 60 and a low of 56. Then we have Marburg, also raining, still raining, with a high of 63 and a low of 57. Bennettsville, same as Larnberg, except it will be more cloudy than it will be raining. Southern Pines has a high of 59 and a low of 55. Ellerby, high of 59, low of 54. Rockingham, high of 60, low of 54. And then Wadesboro, of course, high of 60 and a low of 53. So it's going to start raining tomorrow and, of course, going into the five-day weather forecast. As I just said, 100% chance of rain, high 60, low 54, so it won't be super cold, but it'll still be very, very wet. And of course, Sunday is, has a 30% chance of rain with a high 54 and a low 21, so it'll cool down a little bit, but the rain probably won't come. Who knows? We'll see when it happens. And of course, Monday will be sunny. The sun will be back with the high of 50, uh, sorry, high of 37 and a low of 22, so it's going to be really cold on Monday. So make sure that you're bundled up and you're prepared for that, especially if you work outside a lot. And of course, Tuesday, the sun will be back again with a high of 46 and a low of 38, so it'll warm up just a little bit. And then Wednesday, it'll warm up quite a bit more with a high of 65 and a low of 49 with a 70% chance of rain. And of course, that's going to do it for your Live 5 weather report. When we return, we got your RO Sports update and it's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. We are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete seven curricular programs entirely online, including our university transfer degree. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. At Kyocera, we see your company differently. We see your documents, how they're accessed, what it takes to keep them secure, and how well your workflow is flowing. Kyocera helps your entire document infrastructure run more efficiently, securely, and cost-effectively. And what we see is an opportunity to integrate all of it. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Hungry locals looking to support Richmond Senior High School athletics while enjoying a barbecue lunch will get their opportunity to do so next month. According to RSHS Athletic Director and Assistant Principal Ricky Young, the Raider Athletics Department will be hosting its first barbecue sale on Friday, February 8th. The fundraiser will be used to support the entire athletics department while also giving the community a chance to back the Raider and Lady Raider student athletes. Lunch plates will consist of the buyer's choice of barbecue, pork or barbecue chicken, and will be served with coleslaw, black baked beans, and a roll. Plates will cost $8 and pork will be available for purchase by the pound. Food will be available for purchase between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and can be bought at the field house on Richmond's campus. Orders consisting of five or more plates also have the option of being delivered. Coaches, parents, and local volunteers will don aprons and man the grills in order to make the fundraiser a success. A financial goal hasn't been set, but Young hopes to see the lunch sale bringing as much as possible to support the student athletes. In April, RSHS will host its annual reverse raffle fundraiser, which also goes towards helping pay for the cost of buses, gas, and other travel expenses. And now for your middle school sports report. Wednesday's wrestling match followed the script the Raiders have written all season, another split. In action at Anson Middle, the Raiders play deja vu against East Hoke and Anson from earlier matches this season. Like the first time Richmond faced its SMSAC opponents to it beat the Eagles while falling to the host Bearcats, save for the team's opening meet and its final meet before Christmas break. 
Richmond has split every match 1-1 this season. The Raiders held on to defeat East Hoak 66-42, the same goal as the first time, while falling to Anson 64-42. The team is now 5-5 overall. One more regular season match is scheduled for Wednesday, January 23rd at the Richmond County 9th Grade Academy at 4 p.m. It will be the second match the Raiders will host this season and will be the final warm-up to the SEM SAC Championship at Hope County High School on Saturday, February 2nd. And that's going to do it for another edition of Live at 5. Be sure to keep up with all the latest news from the RO by going to richmondreserver.com or by downloading the free RO app for your Android and Apple devices. And be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sand Hills Monday through Friday and catch the RO Sports Show every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Kelsey Rushing. Good night, Richmond County.